What is up guys and gals, it is Kraken Collectibles coming at you with another toy review. Today we'll be taking a look at the SH Figure Arts Bandai Tamashii Nations Stone Cold Steve Austin. Alrighty, before we take a look at the figure, I will actually show you guys the box. Um, it is actually really cool, I like it. Um, on the front you see, because Stone Cold said so, um, his skull, um, a picture of the figure itself, uh, SH Figure Arts, WWE Superstar Series, Stone Cold Steve Austin, um, I'm assuming Stone Cold Steve Austin, Choking Hazard, Bandai, Tamashii Nations, and more Japanese, and uh, copyright info. On the other side here, we've got, um, if I can see it, Superstar Series, Stone Cold Steve Austin, and uh, leads on into the front of the package with his arm, and then we've got a nice shot of him looking behind him. Um, SH figure arts at the top. On the back we see more action shots of the stunner and uh, Stone Cold and you can actually see the rock in there as well. I eventually will get him. Texas Rattlesnake. Um, you see more of his accessories here as well. Uh, Japanese SH figure arts. More Japanese. And warning choking hazards. And barcode. And we've got Stone Cold Steve Austin on the other side with the WWE logo and the SH Figure Arts. And on the bottom we've got more SH Figure Arts um, Stone Cold Steve Austin in Japanese as well. Just a disclaimer, if you guys can see my breath it's because it's freezing in my garage here in the Hollywood Hills. No, I'm kidding. I, I don't live in Hollywood. I live very far from it. Alrighty, before you actually get into... Um, Posing the figure there is instructions on how to actually change out its accessories and How to safely do that so I would suggest reading this if you've never used an SH figure arts before um, It just kind of shows how to change like the pegs um, Change out the heads how his knee pad actually works because it is actually a really cool system I'll get into that here in a little bit and it shows um, his other accessories as well and then um, We've got the pages, let me... And then it also shows how to put his jacket on, which I'll show you how to do that in the video as well. So, um, let's go ahead and get into it. Um, first off, I want to talk to you about his accessories. He does come with quite a lot um, from this line. Um, the only one that I have other than this is Kane, which by the time this is uploaded, you've probably already seen the Kane video that I've done, which I will have a link to down below if you haven't seen it yet. So, um, the um, accessories, I'm trying to get back on track, the accessories he comes with, he comes with three sets of hands, the fist hands that he has um, right now, he comes with two um, articulated hands, which all four fingers are on the same joint, and uh, he has a left and right of both of those, and then he has... This strange looking hand here with a peg coming out of it. Now last time I checked the human form doesn't have that. But they do serve a good purpose. Um, the peg is actually to hold his beer cans that he has. Um, it has the uh, the beer effects coming out of it. So it looks like he just spilt his beer everywhere. Um, the two effects are different. Um, you've got one long effect and one short effect. Um, so you could use those in plenty of different uh, posings and stuff like that. Uh, but there is a peg hole on the side of each can, pegs into here, and then he can hold the, the beer can. Um, also, uh, other SH Figure Arts figures can hold the beer cans as well. Um, just not with a peg, it's more of just them lightly doing this. But uh, nonetheless, they can hold them, and um, I'll have pictures of that down below in my Instagram if you want to check that out. Um, but this does also have articulation in the fingers. His ring and pinky finger are both one joint. His um, pointer finger is on a single joint, and his middle finger is on a single joint. That's so he can tell you that you are number one. I keep forgetting to do the height measurement. He does stand at roughly under six inches. And to give you a size reference, here he is next to the SH Figure Arts cane. He is slightly shorter, which is good because in real life he is shorter than Glenn Jacobs. So that is good. I like that. That's good. Good job. 
He also comes with four heads. Um, four head. Ha. No, um, he comes with his stern face that you see here. Let me see if I can get it better. He comes with the stern face, which looks really good. Um, I do got to give it to SHV Arts. Um, their face sculpt is incredible. Um, this looks really, really good. Uh, I've seen other figures. I'm not going to mention lines, but uh, their faces are kind of meh. Um, this one actually picks up on facial recognition on my phone. So, I mean, if that tells you anything. Um, this one does look really good. This is his turn face. He has his more of like laughing, looking off to the right look. He has his angry, uh, looking off to the left look. Also looks very good. And then he has his angry face, his screaming face, which I'm kind of upset about because as you can see, it ha mine has a black line going through the forehead. Um, I might be able to play around with that, get that off there, but... Um, Beware, if you are buying this, that it does have something similar to that. Um, I don't know if that'll be every one of them, but mine has this mark, which is upsetting because this is probably my favorite head that he comes with. Um, but on to, actually, let me show you his jacket, which is kind of an accessory, but kind of not. Um, mine came out of packaging kind of loose on the arm, and when I first opened it, all boop, his... Uh, entire arm came off, which actually is kind of useful because it makes it easy to take the jacket off. Now, if yours isn't doing what mine did, all you'd have to do is just push his arm straight back like that and pull it off backwards. But mine came completely apart, so it makes it easier. Um, but here he is without his jacket. On the jacket itself, you can see um, the Austin across the right side, the skull on the left chest. Uh, 316, and then we've got 100% whoop-ass. And then the 316 skull in the back, which looks really nice. It's a nice metallic silver. It's kind of, well, it's in between like a me me metallic and a matte almost. So it looks really good. I like that. It's, that's a really good piece it comes with. Um, and um, let's go ahead and talk about articulation. Um, on the head... It goes up about there, not very far actually. It uh, goes down, okay, I'm out. does swivel 360 degrees because that uh, ball peg inside of there. Uh, you do have to be weary on that because this one does swivel down here. A uh, little bit of front to back, but not much. And you can get some of his typical angry head shake thing that he did to Vince McMahon. Um, the arms go up to here, which I believe is actually a little better than Kane's was. Uh, you can rotate it 360 degrees, and it is on a butterfly joint, which a lot of people have complained about just because it breaks up the, the look of his chest. But with these, you kind of have to expect that. You have to um, have expectations, because in order to get the articulation that you want, you have to kind of give up some of the sculpt, which I don't, I'm not a fan, I'm not, I'm not against this. I like the look of it. I mean, it doesn't hurt too bad. I'm kind of used to the butterfly joints. Oops. And um, it doesn't really bother me that much. Uh, but it does, you, know, you can move the arm in and out of that socket. You can see it kind of moves up and down. And uh, of course, you can use the butterfly to get across. And then he, go he can move his arm across his chest about that far, which isn't too far, but I mean, it's good enough. Um, he has a double jointed elbow, goes past 90 degrees, and then he has a weird, uh, well, Kane has the same one, I, I'm figuring, oh, okay, I'm figuring that um, most of these SJ figure arts WWE figures have the same elbow joint, um, which has a swivel in the joint itself, so it swivels at the elbow, and it moves the elbow cap as well. Uh, he does have a swivel at the wrist, which is just a ball hinge, so you can rotate it on that and then move front and back. And then uh, his, I guess his abdominal crunch, I would call it. Um, I don't get very much out of it. It's kind of upsetting, to be honest. I don't know if it's just mine or not, but mine is not doing very much for me. Um, the midsection crunch does very good. 
Uh, you can get crunched forward back, and then you can get pretty far back, but you do see a little bit of his crotch down here if you go too far back. And then um, on the legs, it is a ball joint, and I don't even know how to call that, to be honest. Um, you can push it up and pull it out to get more articulation forward, and then you can push it back in to make it a little bit less noticeable that it's a joint, and then you can rotate it on that joint in there. And then he goes out to here. Uh, no, there. I can get it one more click. Goes out to there, which is pretty good for doing his kick into a stunner. And then I'm doing the stunner pose. And then it ratchets back to about there, which is fine. It's not, I'm never going to pose him with his leg back like that. And then um, I said that he's got the swivel here at the leg. Double jointed knee which I'll get back to here in a second, does well, looks good. And then he's got a hinge at the ankle and no ankle rocker. Well, maybe, maybe a little. And then toe hinge. But uh, going back to that knee pad, which is something we actually haven't seen yet, is a really, really cool design to where he's got his um, support brace on. Um, these actually have individual joints inside of here We've got one, two, and, well, yeah, two joints here that when he bends his knee, it bends as well. So you're never going to have any issues with that. It just looks really good, and it works in any angle you can see. So that is really nice. I really, really like how they did his knees and his knee pads. All right, on to sculpt. There's not much uh, paint work to be done on this figure. Um, aside from the face, of course, because it's their face print technology, the rest of it's pretty much just printed in, uh, printed, um, sculpted in his tan skin color. Um, you've got the, the black bands around his wrists, the black tights, which actually, uh, oh, actually, no, he doesn't have any. Never mind. I take that back. Um, yeah, it looks fine. He's got the black knee pads and the braces. Um, I'm seeing a little bit of smudging over here, but it's not something I'm, I'd am i notice without being critical about it. And then I've got a little bit of weird paint here on the knee. But nothing too major. And then you can see he's got his Texas Bull tattoo here. Let me see if I can get better lighting on it. Come on, focus. 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 Yeah. Okay, so you can see the his skull tat skull tattoo bull skull tattoo on his leg. I am rambling. I apologize. And then uh, you go down to the boots where they're just sculpted black, and then you can see the um, the shoelaces in there sculpted nicely. And it looks very good on the bottom. You just yeah, he doesn't have any pegs or anything. It's just uh, the information they have to put down here. Um, but yeah, other than that, that pretty much be it for my review. Um, if you guys enjoy it, please leave a like and comment down below. Um, I will leave a link down below for you to pick this up yourself if you're a WWE fan or a fan of wrestling in general. And uh, if you, like I said, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Um, don't forget to subscribe. There should be a button right here. And I will have my latest video here. And a random video here. And thank you guys for watching. And have a good one. Bye-bye.